Hello there, this is OneUp Indie giving you a short review on a pretty decent game which is called Nuclear Throne. So this is a roguelite you, which you are playing and this is just from top down and here you got some characters which you can unlock. Let's go for the Illuminati guy. Yeah, the triangle with money because why not and as you can see you're just this guy, you're trashing every, everything which is on the screen and once you trashed everything and collected those, uh, I guess they are plutonium shards or something which is radioactive because you're collecting radioactive stuff because uh, that's what triangles and mutants and so on always do because I guess that's normal. Well, then you go to the next level and here we come to the interesting part because to give the game a little twist you get four upgrades and well those upgrades are synergized with your weapons and so on because there are different kinds of weapons you can equip and all the characters have different well kind of abilities so for example this one shoots two bullets at the same time with the with first one and the other ones, I don't know, uh, one is for example being a kind of a rock and so on. And they are kind of distinctive, not only by the looks, but basically by their abilities, which are kind of useful as well. So basically you're not just having like a reskin and just some different stats. No, no, these characters actually do have some different um, approaches how you can play them. Of course, they do almost the same they just go around kill everybody and pick up the same weapons but some are um, well synergize better and some worse with kind of weapons so as you can see instantly killed this is one of the things which i'm not a fan of but you have to be good i guess at these games because uh, enemies can instantly kill you if you're not very careful so this is not for the <laughs> weak-minded or people who have no patience so yeah um so this is basically the game you just collect nice weapons get some random uh upgrades or mutations whatever you want to call that stuff because they're just upgrades in the end and the well the enemies be, will become tougher and tougher but your weapons will also be better so this is just fun but of course it's kind of difficult so that is it and let's go and check out the game with the second part so my my recommendation is to this game it's definitely good fun now it's free on the epic store so grab it for free if you can because why not and um, you will have definitely some fun so if you like like really challenging games top down roguelites that game is definitely for you so let's go and check out some other stuff so for example if you go under video this is kind of remarkable so if you're thinking hmm, how big is actually the game well it's that big not big at all so what you're just doing and what you're seeing here that thing is i don't know very very low concerning its um it's a uh, pixel rate so basically it's i guess under 300 or 400 something like this this is extremely small but here the options are pretty sweet so video you can um, reduce the screen shake which is abysmal in, in my opinion but it gives some interesting feeling but i find it i find it good that you can actually um toggle it off then game i don't know all this stuff not really interesting so what is kind of remarkable about the game and what you can actually learn so basically what you're having here is just one sprite which is all the time in a idle position just going left right and once you shoot it's pretty much idle as well and the interesting part is you just have your sprite here and then you have a gun which is just a second object which is sticking to it and then you have some modularity with it which is kind of sweet because you can just stick all the time new weapons and for example if there are some DLCs and stuff you can just add, add things without changing the original one so you don't have the pain of uh, doing every time uh, new sprites because new new character with a new gun would be a new thing but here you can just I don't know 
add it and then it's there which is kind of sweet so this is the thing of course you can copy because that's actually not the worst idea and as you can see there are just some very very basic animations but the colors are quite distinct so this is one another good thing about the game you always know where and what things are of course because the well the thing is quite small at some point there will be some things which are out of your screen or out of your view and they will shoot at you and you don't know you where this stuff is coming from so that is <laughs> died again um yeah so that game has some cool stuff and i don't know for example let's take the crystal thingy here and for example this is for a defensive player this is a thing which i really like and that is pretty sweet because these well characters are quite distinct for example they're shooting at me and those bullets are bouncing off so this is a cool effect if you are a defensive player and then your hp is a little bit higher that doesn't really mean a thing because some things just instantly kill you anyway so <laughs> well 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 and then you have some uh, well issues which the game is facing you with concerning your ammunition so you just have to be quite stingy with that stuff and some characters uh, are better with this and some are worse and for example there's one character i haven't unlocked it which just has two hp but I, he does he has some really sweet effects for example the 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 body of the enemy will explode at some point so you can have some chain explosions and stuff so this is pretty cool and every character has its or hers or whatever those things are um, advantages and it makes sense and fun to mix and match on the characters you prefer so if you are a very risky guy and you're pretty decent well maybe you want to play with those characters which reward um well risky play which is very very cool in my opinion so this game has some excellent replayability of course if you get lightly frustrated that game is definitely not for you because this game will it looks cute but you die fast in this game really but uh, as you can see there are um some some quirks with that but still the game is pretty decent it sold a lot so the guy who made it um yeah he got i guess or the studio got rich on that because i've seen like between half a million to a million sold units that is a a lot in my opinion and this is just for steam because i checked out steam spy so if you want to copy a good game but the point is there are so many roguelites in this uh, genre now it's a little bit difficult to distinguish yourself here but that's pretty much it my take on this one copy those things which are good from this game and which are the characters and the art style and the way the game approaches um, gameplay which is just sh uh, quick fun and completely mindless um, and twitchy but this is a recipe which is working excellently to keep the player engaged again and again and again to try again so that was it for my review and the analysis on this game hopefully you maybe enjoy it too this is it one up indie